Hi and welcome to this math lesson on analytical geometry. We're looking at the midpoint formula and I'll start right away. Um, imagine we have two points. Here's one point, there's another point, and we want to find the point that is right in the middle between these these two. In other words, if I were to connect connect these two, I want to bisect this line. Bisecting means dividing it exactly in two. Which point would that be? Well, uh, basically what that is, is we want to find the middle value between the x's, so here's my, my x1, and there's my x2. I want to find the point that's exactly in the middle of that, so wherever that is, and then f um, that would be the average between these two points. In other words, x1 plus x2 divided by 2. That would give me the halfway mark between these two, the average between those two. Then I'll do the same for the y values. So I'll have a y, a y1 and I'll have a y2. Um, oh, sorry, there's y2, y2, and if I find the average between those two, that will take me straight to the point that is exactly in the middle. y1 plus y2 divided by 2 will take me exactly to that point. So the midpoint formula, the easiest one of all the analytical formulas in my opinion, x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. And there we go, that is the midpoint between A and B. Now, uh, let's say we had information about the midpoint. So just to make this video slightly longer, let's say this was the point negative 1 comma 3 and this is the point positive 1 comma 1 and we had to find Y2. Now what you could do is you could have two equations. So for example, you know, you want y2 and, and x2, so you could say, well, I know that negative 1 plus x2 divided by 2 must equal 1. In other words, we already have the midpoint, we already have this whole expression's value, that should be 1. What we're looking for is x2. Um, for y2, same thing. I have, um, and, and now I can just solve it, so I multiply both sides with a 2, negative 1 plus 2, let me finish this, this one first, times 2, I multiplied both sides with a 2 to get rid of the fraction, and then I just add a 1 on both sides, x2 is equal to 3. Excellent, so this one must be, this x value must be 3. Then uh, same thing for y, let's say that was 3, or we knew no x, uh, y, y2 is 3 plus, as uh, y1 is 3 plus y2 divided by 2 should equal 1. Okay. In other words, in this expression, I substituted my y1 with a 3, and I substituted for the whole expression equal to 1, so now I have an equation. Same business, I'm going to multiply with 2, that gives me 2, and then I'm going to subtract a 3 on both sides to get y2 on its own, and that gives me negative 1. So this coordinate here, this coordinate here is supposed to be negative 1. And there we go. We've been able to find the coordinate of B by using this ex the same formula, but a little bit um, backwards way around. What I want to show you is a quicker way you could have done this, is you could have just asked yourself, well, how far is it from here to there? And you see, well, I'm going from negative 1 to positive 1, which means this must be 2. So if I go from here to there, that must be 2 as well. So 1 plus another 2 would give me 3. 
and then you do the same um, from here to there how far is it from uh, vertically from a point A to point M then you'd say okay I'm going from 3 to 1 so I'm going 2 units okay it's coincidental by the way that this is 2 and that is 2 um, it's not always the same but in this case I'm going from 3 to 1 which means there's 2 units uh, that I went down but th it's just the 2 units that's important so if I go 2 units further down I will go from 1 to negative 1 okay and that is how I could have found it even not using this formula and equations if that's something you would rather want to avoid especially since the equation has fractions in it I'm sure some of you would avoid that so thank you very much for watching that is uh, um, our video on the midpoint formula we'll see you in the next video